Изключително извънредно. България обяви извънредното положение до 13 април за неговостранния състояние на Have you had enough of this? I mean, it's almost as if you're watching a movie and it's a bad one and instead of two hours, it's going on forever. I have had enough. But don't worry, this video won't be about Corona. It is about an idea which was born, kinda, thanks to Corona. Let's go back to the 9th of May, the day I officially moved out of my home. I didn't mean to do it forever, of course. Hey, Katerico. Процесът по преместване в друго жилище не е много лесен. Когато е толкова претъпкана, че наистина. Отварихме багажа. Отне ни час и половина близо. Пренасяме всичко. Наведнъж. But why moving out? And for how long? You're about to find out. I came here for a reason. All the news and noise around the virus felt like a poison I wanted to stay away from. And since they were centered in the capital, which is really close to where I actually live, moving out was the right thing to do. Don't be mistaken, I didn't want a simple weekend retreat. I didn't want to escape for the sake of escaping. I wanted to adapt to a lifestyle, a Rodopian lifestyle, which I had only scratched the surface of. A lifestyle so close to what life should be, that it's a miracle that it still exists these days. My second home has always been there waiting for me. It is synonymous with my grandfather. Every time I think of this place, I picture him attending to his beekeeping business, as well as to his garden. Every year he spends at least five months there by himself and always appreciates every arrival of mine, even if it's only for a weekend or a week. I wanted this to change. For the first time in my life, I wanted to stay longer. I wanted to make positive changes to the place from the inside and the outside. I wanted to help as much as I could and at the same time maintain a healthy lifestyle by working, exercising and self-growing. While I didn't know it at the start, this was going to be a journey, with the expected ups and downs. A journey which lasted a whole month, longer than my previous record of just two weeks and a half. During this journey, I learned and experienced a lot. But most importantly, what used to be a summer retreat spot became an authentic, 
second home. Crashes happen when you least expect them. When you've been going too fast for too long. That's exactly how the first two weeks in my second home went. So life decided I needed a break. Falling off my bike at the very end of a 100 km ride was a true wake-up call. After all, I didn't know how to ride properly just two months ago. My recovery coincided with a period of daily, non-stop, heavy rainfalls. There wasn't much left to do, other than rest and contemplate. It took six days for things to go back to normal. I even met a person who vanished before we had the chance to build anything together. But this is life. It's not a straight path. It is supposed to have ups and downs and teach you lessons.
Everything that I experienced between the 9th of May and the 10th of June, it was time to go home. Whether I like it or not, home is irreplaceable. It's where I've grown and developed as a person. It's where I always have unfinished business. My second home, on the other hand, has earned a place in my heart. I will never look at it the same way as I did before.